49ers defensive line coach Chris Kosirik wants to remain with the 49ers. Why? Let's talk about it right here. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Wayne Breezy from the Wayne Breezy Show and the Nitty Gritty Niners Talk Show. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Listen, let's talk about Chris Kosirik. But before we do, make sure you hit that like button, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. And if you're new or if you like what you see, become a member today. You can just join by hit, clicking that join button and become a member of the channel. All right, here it is. Like, comment, subscribe, and if you agree or disagree with whatever we're talking about right here on the show, please leave a comment in the comment section. And I will make sure that I respond to that comment. All right. So let's get right down to it. Chris Kosiri decided that he's going to turn down the defensive coordinating job uh, for the Houston Texans. All right. With their new head coach, D'Amico Ryans, former 49er defensive coordinator. And he wants to remain with the 49ers reported by Aaron Wilson underscore NFL from Twitter. Defensive line coach Chris Kosarek will remain with the NFC West franchise and not pursue Texans defensive coordinator job per league sources at KPRC2. C2. Now, for me, this is great news. Huge win for the 49ers. Why? For the simple fact that they're getting their defensive line coach back. A guy that's been with Kyle Shanahan since the beginning of time. We brought him in here, and he's been with Kyle Shanahan. He's helped build this defensive line to be as solid. He helped build this defensive uh, line to be one of the best defensive lines in the NFL. And I feel, I feel he still has a lot of work to do, and there's a lot of things that he wants to prove. Now, there are three reasons, okay, three reasons why Chris Kosiri probably turned down this job. Now, I did not talk to Chris Kosirik, so Chris Kosirik is not telling Breezy this or Breezy that, but what he's doing is he's putting out these signals. I call them bat signals for you guys to pay attention to, and here are the three things. Number one, the first thing he said was never wanted to be a defensive coordinator. And a lot of people are like, well, why not? Why wouldn't you want to be a defensive coordinator? Why not move up the ranks? Here are three things. Maybe two, two to three things why I feel like he doesn't want to be a defensive coordinator. Number one, the responsibility, and the amount of hours and works it's going to take to be a defensive coordinator in the NFL. Okay? That's a lot. It's a lot of hours you got to put in, a lot of attention to detail you got to pay attention to, a lot of coaches you have to be responsible for underneath you. If you're the coordinator, you have to coordinate the wire, the cornerbacks coach, the defensive line coach, the, the everybody, you got the linebackers coach. Like you got to make sure everything is in t in coordinated into the plan of, of, of what you're doing, and that's a lot. That's a lot. That's probably a toll on a uh, on a on a person. Uh, mind you, the compensation. All right, for that. On top of that, look. I really feel like if he became the defensive coordinator, it would automatically, let's say he does very well year one, defensive coordinator, very well year one. Say he goes to Houston, becomes defensive coordinator, their defense all of a sudden becomes the number one defense in the NFL. Well, you know what that's going to do? It's going to ring bells. And if he wasn't thinking about being a head coach, he's automatically going to be in the name for a head coach of a team because they're, listen, head coaches get replaced every year. Now, if Chris Kosarek didn't want to be a defensive coordinator, I know for a fact he's not going to want to be a head coach, which is even a hundred times more detailed of what you have to do. So I think that's the first reason why Chris Kosarek doesn't want to be a defensive coordinator. Number two, familiarity with the players. Now, listen, he can probably go anywhere, bring in some players that he's familiar with, things like that. But let me just mention one player to you, Nick Bosa. He has the best defensive lineman in the NFL. I wouldn't want to leave that either because where he goes is not like Nick Bosa is going to go. 49ers is going to pay Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa is going to be with the team for a very long time. And he will will be saying bye-bye to Nick Bosa. Now, listen, I love Chris Kosarek, but Chris Kosarek went up in stock the moment they drafted Nick Bosa, and Nick Bosa's rookie year was sensational, right? Sophomore year, he got injured, came back his third year, phenomenal. 
So it's just like, let's just talk about that, right? And that's the, that's pretty much like what's really going on. I wouldn't want to let go of the number one defensive player in the league. He's going to be defensive player of the year. That has to to be tutelage to uh, defensive line coach, Chris Kosarek, all right? And let's talk about some of the other players that we've seen under him that had success. He's got players paid. DJ Jones paid with the Denver Broncos. Kerry Hyder Jr. got paid when he went to Seattle Seahawks. I know he's back as a 49er, but it seems like wherever his players go, they get the bag. That's good. That means he's developing these guys and he can see talent. I would like to see what Chris Kosira can do with some of the young talent on the defensive line, like a Kalia Davis uh, and some of those players that they have that are going to be coming up. Uh, and I want to see what else he can go out there and draft. And I want to see if Chris Kosira finally – I want to see – if Kyle, Shan this is <laughs> it, could be one of the reasons why Chris Kosarek stayed too. Kyle Shanahan was like, Man, listen, I don't want you to go be a head coach. I mean, go be a defensive coordinator with Houston, Texas, man. Stay here with me. Chris was like, Listen, I'll stay if and only if you get me a free agent. Now, free agent would be Deron Payne. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that's going to happen. That's just kind of like what I would have kind of put in there if I was Chris Kosarek. If you wanted me to stay, because no, I would go take that money. I'll go get that money and take the job as a defensive coordinator. But listen, that's the second thing. Familiar, familiarity with the players. You got Nick Bosa. There's nothing more you can ask for. Number three, Super Bowl. All right. There are many aspirations of the 49ers making it to the Super Bowl just about every year when you got like one of the best the best defensive player in the league on your team, right? You're continuing to, like, hopefully our new defensive coordinator, whoever that may be, Steve Wilkes, I hope, hopefully when he comes in, it'll help out. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, it's just a, it's just a, it's just that the 49ers defense was, like, number one in the league. It wasn't even like number one. They were number one in the league. And a lot of it had to do with the defensive line. We pieced together secondary pieces, right? We lost our starting cornerback. We had to put a second-year cornerback back there. You had the uh, Mooney Ward, who you brought in in free agency. You had to take a safety and move him to your nickel spot. They did a lot of shifting and bifting up there in that defense period as totality, right? That was shout-out to D'Amico Ryans. But from that front line, I mean, this – Chris Kosir had to make sure his guys stay heavily rotated. He had to deal with injuries. I would say Hassan Ridgeway was probably one of the key losses to the season because when you're talking about stopping the run, he was like really great at stopping the run. And so on top of that, I feel like the Super Bowl bound aspirations for the San Francisco 49ers will be there. The window is there. If the window is there, and I'm Chris Kosirik. I want to remain on this squad. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That that Those are my three reasons why I feel like Chris Kosirik is here. This is great news. It's a huge win for the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, they got their defensive line coach, all right? A guy that's thoroughly respected in the locker room by his players. Players want to play for him. Players from all teams around the league or want, want to play for Chris Kosirik. This is great news. It's a huge win for the 49ers. And it's a huge win for the faithful. Thank you for watching, everybody. Peace out.